my song. I like to jam when I'm when I'm decluttering. So I hope you want to jam too. Strength to carry on. Shed your grace upon us. Shed your grace upon us. Shed your grace upon us. Okay. Almost done. What if you guys are almost done? I'm telling you, just get it done. Shed your grace upon us now. I have a section when people come over, I give them gifts. Well, if you just saw these, you'll know what you're getting. Okay. <laughs> you, you get soap, and you'll actually enjoy this soap. You'll actually want this soap. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, you give gifts, and people are like, what's this for? You're going to need that soap in this day and age. Ooh. Almost done. I hope you guys are almost done. I feel a little better. I'm telling you. I was very, um overwhelmed as we all are I am but I just made movement I just made movement I'm already almost done I'm just putting this stuff I gotta put things on the shelf I'm gonna put it on the shelves and then we'll be done we'll check in Ugh. I love my lipstick I think I need to keep my lipstick close by you know obviously in a pandemic if you're stranded, if I'm stranded, if I'm stranded, I, and if I'm naked, I just need lipstick. So that needs to be by me. I don't have mascara on, but I need my lipstick. This is going to be for my lipstick because I need to access it at all times. I cleared out this box. I cleared this out. And I'm very, I feel so much better. Honestly, I started out and I was not in a good mood. But I feel better about that because I cleared that space. And you know what I also found in that box? I want to share this. I found, uh, you know, you guys know I love hearts. Okay? This is, a, um, to me, a heart-shaped rock. And I remember years ago, I don't know what year it was, but I, I, I um, living in Manhattan, sometimes you got to get away from the concrete and I remember going to Long Island and I went to Walt Whitman's home where he grew up and I sat out under a tree in um, the backyard of where Walt, I'm, I'm a fan of Walt Whitman and I sat back there and I had found this rock and it's a heart and it's also reminding me like I, it meant a lot when I found it and I did bring it home And so I'm reminded today what that rock means to me. You know, as a creative, we're all creative souls, and this also reminds me about my own writing, about my own experiencing experiences out there. And I like telling stories and how I need to tell stories. So I'm. That's what happened. You guys, I can't. Okay, we're almost done, and we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, that's what happened. I came out here at three o'clock, 15 minutes to declutter and organize. I did not know I'd come across this rock, a reminder of my life and, and my purpose, for me. Shoved in a box. I get emotional on these, on these calls as well. I, I get emotional, actually. The time is almost up. Let me check in with you guys. I feel really blessed that you guys came. Thank you for coming. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I get super emotional. And I'm not going to beat myself up about that. That's actually a blessing and a gift. And so at the moment, I'm going to do my best to allow that to come through and pass through me and check in with you guys. Well, I have to say my heart's filled. I was sharing how I found a heart today and I found it again today with the help of you guys as well. I didn't know. I never know how this is going to go. And we never know how the day is going to go. We don't. So. so as I cleared up the box, I was sharing how I found heart again. I found heart again. And um, I'm going to jump off this call and, and just 
connect with that again. Um, what was my point? Right. My point was gathering to just declutter our own head spaces, our own spaces to create flow. And myself, I'm like super crazy organized, right? I'm already organized. But there's always something that I have to clear. And I just shared with you how I cleared this box. This box was filled for months on end. I had a painting job. We had to throw everything, you know, in boxes and put it away. Months. And look what's in the box. So I'm just grateful to be able to share that with you guys and hope you guys come back again and um, we can talk again um, off platform if you guys want to check in and if you need any if you if you're overwhelmed with anything or want to chat or talk I'm around this is a good time for me to check in with you guys and um, just remember Mara's asked yes just remember the whole point of this is to check in and clear our headspace the spaces around us to work on things that we've been procrastinating things that we've been blowing off because we don't have enough time now's the time and when we do that when we let go we start to receive so the organizing I was sharing also some people think oh I gotta go clean my house to me that's not what it's about cleaning is on a surface in the crevices but organization is about a flow and how we flow through life and it's been my experience that we take on so much stuff. We just, we take it all on, honestly. But there comes a point where you have to let it go. And in the flow of things, you have to let it go so you can receive more of stuff. It doesn't matter. To me, you're always going to get more stuff. I always get more stuff. And what I found is every time I let stuff go of something, I get something else on the back end. So it doesn't matter. And it's just a... Flow. That's the flow, and that's how I'm operating when I'm thinking about organization in all areas. Um, so that's what I'm passionate about and sharing that with you guys. And I just so appreciate you guys coming and joining me. And we'll be doing this daily. I'm doing this 15 minutes on a timer. Bring whatever it is that you're procrastinating. And the other thing is, when I'm showing up, I'm doing things that I don't want to do. That's another big thing. I did not want to clean this. I, I didn't want to clear out this box today. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. But I have to, like, myself, I'm getting organized, helping you get organized. And I clear out that box and I find some heart. I find some heart. So I'm just going to close with um, that today. Find your own heart. Where's your heart today? What, where is it today? Is it in a box? <laughs> Go find it. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will talk to you again tomorrow, 3 o'clock, 15 minutes. Bye for now. Wait, okay.